Blender 101. Q. Why Blender and why not some other 3D package? Answer 1. Blender was designed as in-house software, to be used in a professional setting, creating deliverables for commercial clients, for survival of the artist. Most commercial 3D software is designed to be used by other people. If those who developed it did so for their own needs, they would be more apt to detect inefficient workflows and unimportant features. In other words, commercial 3D software and is true of most commercial software in general, software made for others tend to address more wants than needs, more gee whiz whistles and bangs but less applicable to real world features. Answer 2. Blender eliminates loss of time in dealing with file organization and distribution, by storing everything in a single file. When working on large animation projects with software that relies on file structures, one is more likely to deal with ambiguity, data corruption, data loss due to improper naming and organization, incomplete backups, and imperfect collaboration with others online. Since Blender stores everything even screen layout, into a single file in the true spirit of what you see is what you get or WYSIWYG, pronounced WYSIWYG, it is the perfect medium to collaborate with others over the internet. Blender tends to shun plugins, because an undesirable attribute of pluggable 3D applications is a stigma to online collaboration because your collaborators would need to have the exact plugins and software you have to observe your project, to collaborate, to utilize your deliverables, to reuse your content, etc. Current versions of Blender offer plugins utilizing Python so even when plugins are needed they can be obtained and installed easily. Solutions that utilize special Python code can be distributed with the code inside the Blend file. Answer 3. Blender's everything in a single file policy is also forward and backward accessible to every version of Blender. It is not always true that an old version of Blender can load data of a newer version of Blender but it is possible to do so and in some cases works well enough that one can include older versions of Blender in their workflow. For instance using Blender to make games using Game Blender, which is no longer a part of Blender, just because it no longer exists in the current distribution, doesn't mean you can't do work with it, the distributions of Game Blender still remain and there are still examples that make use of their features as well as books and tutorials on how to use Game Blender. Answer 4. Blender is free, and open source. One method of distributing malicious code and viruses is in the distribution of cracked software. When you receive software that has been cracked you risk executing malicious code. Because of this you are more vulnerable to viruses when working with people who use such cracked copies, even if you are a trusted owner of a commercial application, you are rubbing elbows with people who are risking it to collaborate with you. Since Blender is free and undownloadable from a single trusted website, it is not a platform for the distribution of malicious content. Also note, to protect commercial software one must utilize dongles, license servers, online authorization, and other methods of validation. Doing so, creates likelihoods that software will tend to fail because of a corrupted dongle, a missing dongle, a corrupted license, etc. Because Blender is free, it frees one from the responsibility of being a commercial user, that your licenses be up to date, maintaining licenses, keeping licenses active, paying bills, such hurdles are non-existent for Blender. Also DRM, or Digitally Maintained Licensing, permits commercial developers to control the use of their software unnaturally. For example, commercial software can halt licensing of software making previous distributions inaccessible to consumers. Such practices also make user content of unlicensed copies, inaccessible unless one is to obtain the cracked copy of the commercial software, again making the user vulnerable to malicious executables and viruses. And because Blender is open source, if someone wishes to custom optimize a version of Blender, they can observe and fix and modify the code of Blender and compile it for their own use. With commercial closed source software, you are stuck with the features of that software and cannot customize. So it is easier to develop an in-house solution from Blender source code than atop a commercial platform. This means Blender can be used to design an in-house workflow that is easier for Blender users but leverages proprietary technologies of a commercial studio. 
The only time you need to distribute the source code of your technology is when you share an executable with others, and even then it's not mandatory. So Blender gives you the freedom to do with what you create, what you want, when you want, with whom you want, how you want, anytime you want to do it, free from viruses and liability. Answer 5. It costs nothing but time to use Blender, so deciding not to use Blender is hurting you more than it is helping you. When you know more software, you have more abilities. So Blender users are often not exclusive to Blender, they tend to use lots of packages in the creation of content. So why not use another 3D package? Sure you can, just because you are using Blender there is no reason why you shouldn't use anything else. In some cases a project will require you collaborate with others on a commercial platform with a specific set of plugins. But keep in mind, when a client demands that you work on a commercial platform for your deliverables, you have to consider the stuff mentioned above and you have to ask yourself why. Some clients think that to have quality content they need certain tools to be used, and if you don't know those tools, you likely won't be able to produce good quality content. It's for this reason that Blender is used on open source projects that look professional like Big Buck Bunny, Sintel, Tears of Steel, Elephant's Dream, and Cosmos Laundromat. In any case if you need to adapt to your environment Blender will make you easier to adapt as it is the Swiss Army knife of 3D expression. Answer 6. We've talked about the external concerns, let us get into what Blender does internally that makes it more capable. Blender has these features and attributes, most of these do not exist in other 3D applications. Data reuse and instancing is a side effect of how Blender stores data. When you create objects in Blender, you can control the reuse of data. There is a selector in preferences that tells Blender that when it creates an object if it is to instance materials, textures, mesh data, motion curves, and such. So when you duplicate an object you can tell Blender if a duplicate is to be an instance of the base object or a copy, the same is true for materials on the mesh, and textures used by the material. Because of this style of selective and controllable instancing of data, you can focus on creating content and less on managing content. Other Blend file can be used as source of content. So anything you've created with Blender before, or anything anyone else has done before with Blender, regardless of the version of Blender that was used, it is all accessible to you in your current projects. Blender uses true type and postscript fonts in its text primitive, and its text primitive is suitable for word processing and in documenting a project for a client, as well as what people often use it for, and that is to create 3D titles, the meat and potatoes of 3D animation and 3D art. Blender has its own video editor and the video editor can use pre-rendered 3D content as a source of data, thus forcing a render of several scenes in the evaluation of a frame of content in the video editor. Blender's video editor can be used to manipulate 2D, 3D, and 4D content, as well as audio content. True of older versions of Blender, and might not be true of newer versions, one is capable of working with objects in any orientation, upside down, sideways, even view aligned with the polygon. Blender permits objects to be arranged in layers, so complex scenes can be navigated if well abstracted into layers. For instance one could create two 3D characters, one with a low polygon count and another with plenty of details, and both using the same motion data so that one can animate efficiently and do test renders of the same scene using the detailed version on a render farm, large group of computers used for rendering. True of newer versions of Blender, anything that accepts numeric input can be keyframed. Blender files can be designed to duplicate or instance content from other Blender files. Blender very fast when duplicating or instancing data. Objects can be snap aligned and cursor aligned in the process without being aware of the orientation of the content. For instance one can adjust a spotlight light by making a light into a camera using the key combination C and TRL keypad 0. Particle emitters can be used to emit duplicates of any object including polygonal meshes, parametric surfaces and lights. Material properties can be programmed to render differently based on the attributes of other objects. For example, when shooting a laser, 
one can adjust visibility of lights based on the proximity of the laser shot. All attributes of Blender can be rigged and programmed with Python scripting. Any object can be parented to any other object at any offset with respect to the object's origin, a single vertex, two vertices, and three or more vertices. Facial animation in Blender can be used to adjust the orientation of sets of objects using vertex parenting relationships. Even if objects can't be parented to each other, scripting can be used to make objects travel together. Blender supports external rendering applications like RenderMan, that is used by Pixar to render its movies. With Blender 2.8 one can quickly texture, shade and light scenes while in any other process, staging, lighting, animation using a tool called Eevee. Blender has its own nodal shader system. Blender permits GPU acceleration for both NVIDIA and AMD graphics cards. And the list goes on and on. And since everybody has access to Blender, Blender is the common denominator of graphical content creation. I think I'll start that one up again. Hey. Wow, look at that. Well, it went through the whole thing, you know, um, and I think I might have fallen asleep while it was doing that. Um, I got about 15 minutes to show you some things that you can do in Blender um, that you probably can't do with regular software. Uh, and this is Blender 2.04. This is 20-year-old package of Blender. This was put out in 99, I think. Um, uh and I'll just cover some of the things that you can see in old copies of Blender. Okay. So here we go. Um, it's still recording, isn't it? Is it not? It's still recording. Okay. Everything's grabbable in Blender. Grabbable is, grab is a operation. Hit A to select everything. Okay. Select everything with A. Grab, move around, grab, move around, and here you can the grab doesn't do anything. <laughs> uh, if you middle click in the window, you can move things there. Middle click in here, that moves. Middle click in here, this moves. Okay. X, X is delete. That's how you delete that. How do you get it back? It has no undo. Um, how do you get uh, stuff back before we open last? Well, it crashed. Let's open it up again. Older versions of Blender crashed <laughs> a lot. Um, let's see. Keypad. Hit five, turns into perspective mode. In Blender, you can work like on a turntable in this old version of Blender. You could also work sideways. You can work on the other side sideways. Or you could work completely upside down. This is called spaceball mode. How you move things, how you rotate the, the view is by selecting uh, one side of the table and, or you can t do, use this side of the table. So you pull it up over, you turn that that way, you bring this, well you bring, you put that up then you turn it around like that. That's how you work with Blender on the old 
way. And I prefer to work with objects that way than to use turntable view because producing producing content on a turntable um, produces um, content that looks like it's been produced with it on a table. And so um, doing doing sort of airplane shots of the you know dog fights on a turntable view forget it you can't do that you can't do uh, roller coasters in turn turntable uh, programs I mean you could but uh, it's so much nicer whenever you're doing it in this view because you can look at your content upside down when it is upside down and work on it when it's upside down usually how they deal with stuff like that is they is they parent it to something and then they flip the thing over work with it right side up and then they put it back into place um, you know so like maybe they have it um, they create a um, what's called a path so we add a curve path and uh, you Press Control left click to create your path. You can see it's it's a 3D path. Then you uh, put your item, parent it to the path, and then you animate it, and it follows that path. Now um, I think you can clear or not clear the parent I think you can put that right there let me see cursor to selected oh it puts it way back there now let me edit it and get that point cursor to selected selected to cursor then uh, you go into path buttons and you do power track no it's not power track um rot no it's not rot up X track X rod what are these let me do a control I'll do it in a different window I forgot how to do the the alignment along a track uh, up axis Why is it is it do it do it there I think it's hmm Oh, I, I remember what it is, I think. Um, when you edit the item, you make sure that it's 3D. Um, it is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember how to align something with a track. I think actually this 2.04 is not doing it correct. Let's uh, load up a newer version of Blender 2.28. I 
and see if uh, we're going to add a curve path. Parent that to that. Parent. Uh, whoops. Grab. Put that there. It moves along the curve. If we go here and say rotate, it still does that. Power track. Forgot how to do it. I forgot how that how that works. Hmm. It's supposed to it's supposed to align the object to the uh, to the path. So it's supposed to be following the path rather than just doing the uh, that offset. It's supposed to be oh I, I remember it has to you have to do track two. Um and then you have to do I think it's all track or make it track make track there it is ah there we go and then yeah oh that's how it works and then you hit, hit rotate uh, oh that's rotate dupla dupla frames uh, Grab, uh, rotate, um, oh, twist, twist here, and grab. That's how it does that.
So 2.28 is just as. So let's go back to 2.04 because I was working with 2.04. Ooh, I got five minutes. Time flies when you're having fun. Uh, I'll do. I'll bring 2.04 back. Uh, another attribute of 2.04 is on buttons where you can change the value. If you shift slick, select in the, you can type in values into there. So there, it's uh, over here, I could do it. 1280, 1024. And um, if you click on one side of the button, the value goes up. If you click on the other side of the button, the value goes down. Uh, if you left click and press the little the the left you can s change the value quickly so left click control select you can adjust the values quickly so, or actually I can do that anyhow without a control so that's how you change the values of and in newer versions of blender whenever you using these buttons anything that's numeric like that and you hit i you can set a keyframe i is the key for a keyframe so you grab i location rotation scale set to a later version rotate Okay, rotate size. And over time, it will gradually move towards that. <laughs> it's moving really slow because I gave it a lot of frames. Split. Curves. All I'm using is shift D that's duplicate and then I can set my frame here and uh, it'll just keep you know uh, I'll have it rapidly uh, oscillating so here we go back so then let's say I take that and duplicate that duplicate that duplicate that Parent these things. Take that. Parent these things. Animate. So uh, and uh, I'll talk about other things in person whenever I give the uh, class, whenever I give the introduction.